Can it happen that spirits of places may not help you out, even if you approach them with respect? Such as, if you clean up the territory, if you ask them to accept you on that land, if you ask for support in restoring your health, I have lived in my city since birth, I just moved to a different neighborhood, thank you. Yes, Galina, that very well may be. Why would that happen? The reason has nothing to do with the neighborhood that you came from, and has nothing to do with the fact that the spirits of one neighborhood used to accept you and others from a different neighborhood don't. They are not local gangs. They don't divide neighborhoods between each other. The principle is different here. The thing is that the spirits of places are all different, and city masters are all different as well. They all have their own goals and tasks, and it could be that they have no need for your cleaning the territory or for your feeding the local spirits. Perhaps they already have all that. Perhaps they need something different from you, and they are just waiting for you to ask them what they need in return. Whereas you give them sort of what you have decided you can give. Perhaps they need something more from you or just something different. Usually you will receive signs. When we come to the city master or to the spirit of a place, as we call him, we would address him with a certain ask and say, I am such and such. We introduce ourselves and ask, I come here to live. I need this and that. What can I do for you in return? What task do you need me to undertake? And next, you get the signs. So here, you would be on the lookout for signs. If you are attentive and know how to see signs, you will certainly see them, you won't miss them, and they may vary. Colleagues in a Russian-speaking online forum, there are quite a lengthy discussion about the spirits of places, and our colleagues share what signs they have received. It is always quite a magical, extraordinary experience. Some people are tasked with planting trees, some with taking care of animals, some with helping the elderly, or helping children, or helping pregnant women. Some need to say something or do something on a particular day. Similar to taking a gaze, for example. You take it and then go and do it. Go and talk about something or do some other, either one-time or continuous, repetitive actions. Some have to pay up in cash, others pay with their time, some pay with completing certain simple, non-complicated actions. The city master himself says, we here live as a family, humans and non-humans, and everybody has their own contributions. For example, for you, you must never litter. For you, you must water the flowers in this courtyard, for example, or feed the pigeons every Friday. It varies for everybody. You'll simply receive the signs. It could be that they are not answering because you didn't hear what they have been asking of you. And so they say, we don't actually need whatever it is that you are doing. It's like with relatives, you know. I think that all of you have relatives that showered you with presents, and then you don't know what to do with this present, and they keep on doing it year after year, year after year. Whatever they desire for themselves, they give to you, and then get surprised when they get no credit. Why they are not revered, even though they give from their own heart, from their old self. It's just that they're mixing up the soul and consciousness, but overall their actions are quite honest. So you too, in this case, did everything quite honestly. You follow the script and tell them, give it to me. Why should they? Try to approach it differently. Try approaching it from the other side and ask them, what can I do for you? Give me a sign so that it is honest, appropriate, useful, so it fits into the context of our mutual existence. Since I get a space, then with that space comes not even payment, but perhaps like a share, my share of our mutual life together, our existence. Try it that way. I think it will all work out. You just have to remember that you are not the only one who has personal wants, and that the consciousness of a place that you live in, it also has wants and needs. And it is not obligated to adjust its needs to your capabilities or your patterns of understanding. No one is obligated to do anything, especially forces of that level, that is certain. Try to approach it from the other side, and everything will work out just fine.